Okay, so we'll, we'll we're gonna we'll talk about this the ID eight, and actually what I'll do is I'll move this because I know you were talking about the rack spaces. I'm gonna slide this over to the next rack, so it's by itself. You don't have to worry about all the clutter going on there. And again, down in the sequencer, I just want to make sure it's highlighted with this little arrow so that it shows that I'm playing it. Uh, the ID eight is a very um, simplistic yet unique instrument device. Uh, essentially, what it's doing is it's it's uh, it's not it's playing back these samples that are built in, but they're not programmable samples. So, you know, kind of takes away the program factor, uh, and they're set in some real basic uh, sets here. So, like if you go, like uh, let's say we go to guitar, you can see. I'll turn this up just a touch. There's your guitar, but it gives you a, a couple of options for styles. You know, this one's pretty good. You know, kind of, you could see in each of these categories. And then there's some basic controls. Oh, I like this. This one's pretty good. Let's go down to the bottom. And then you can add slapback amount. And this one, this uh, the Arco. Uh, let me just make sure because this, this will change things. So let me make sure on my audio device. Oh yeah, see my buffer size. Yeah. We talked about this on Monday, but just as a refresher, this this buffer size will actually create a, a certain amount of output latency. See the output latency, 23 milliseconds. So I want to have my Arco feel like a nice attacky kind of string. Problem is, is right now with my input latency the way that it is because of my buffer size. Everything feels late. Like it feels like it's being, it's trailing. So, you know, 512 is a pretty standard set. You can see 11 milliseconds is not a lot. But, you know, if we can go tighter as a performer, it'll feel way, a bit, way better. Yeah, well, the, the difference is, though, when you go too far, uh, your DSP suffers because the buffer is there to uh, kind of hand off or transition. Um, the information as it's, you know, because it's being resourced from a hard drive and it's being indexed by the session. So there's a lot going on in the background. kind of makes it not not have as many failures as it tries to process because otherwise the buffer size is too low. It'll eventually stop if it's, uh, if it's unable to get the information through. I've never had that happen to me with one quick reason. Well, I, I actually, I have it happen a lot. But, I mean, I run a lot of... Was it does that to me on the bottom of that thing on the PC? Well, that's good. But if you go in here, you know, you set that down, and then you take your attack time and make it next to nothing. Now, if you make it slower, it's got that more slow attack feel, but... You know, so just a little bit there, orchestral. Yeah, so that's kind of fun, right? That one's not. <laughs> you know, but there's some basic stuff in here, you know. But, I mean, a, a very impressive engine.
to bed. There's a nice little smear option here, which is kind of cool. Pretty cool, huh? There we go. And then... They built in the snare drum tuning there. Sorry. But that one's good. Uh, let's see. Anything else fun in this one to show off? Yeah, if you're into that. Electronic piano. Oh yeah. Cool. Regular piano. I like this one because the beauty of this. Notice it has this. Sorry, I don't have a sustain pedal, so it sounds a little weird, but the detune amount makes it sound more like an upright. Of course, it sounds a little fake right there, a little less, maybe. Fives. I liked it. Yeah. You know, but it's it's real basic. It's uh, somewhat limited in that, but it also you know it does what it says it does, and it, and and it doesn't really give you a lot more. But at the same time, it's got some cool sounds. So. Um, 